What's up guys, my name is Takia. I'm an orthodontic assistant. And in today's video, I'm going to show you guys different setups that I do daily as an orthodontic assistant. Of course, we have different type of appointments. We change wires, we put on braces, we take off braces, we do retainer checks. So today, you will find out in detail how to set up for each procedure. All right, let's go. So your initial first visit would be most likely a consultation and a records appointment. So here in this room, we'll do records. So I'm going to show you guys how we set up for our record slash consultation visits. So right now I'm just getting out all of the things I would need for this appointment. So here's everything that I will be using for this appointment. So here we have a cheek retractor that retracts the upper and lower lip. This is a mirror so we can take photos of the teeth. And here we have a small mouth mirror that the doctor may use. And over here, these are just cheek retractors and this allows for us to pull the cheeks away when taking pictures. Here is the cameras that we use when taking photos for our records appointment and then along next to the cameras we keep this desktop and printer for pictures. Over here this is our x-ray room. I will in fact take the patient here to take two types of x-rays, a set and a panel. Next, for our bonding appointments, which are appointments where we put on braces, typically we'll get the patients in a private treatment room here in this room. Here first, we will take a scan with this iteral scan. And with this scanner, it develops a 3D image of the upper and lower teeth. So right now, I'm just inputting the patient's information and here I will get everything set up for the scan. A daily, once I get the scan, I'll go ahead and set up for the bonding. Here's where we keep all the bonding trays. Right now, I will just go ahead and grab one of these and take it to the room to set up for the patient. Right now, I'm going to grab out additional things that I will need for this bonding appointment. We do keep extra things in the drawers at our station. So right now I'm just pulling out everything that I will need. So you'll quickly notice that we keep headrest covers over all of our trays. So right now I'm just removing the headrest cover from the tray and getting it dressed onto the chair so it's ready for the patient. So I did have to grab one more thing. Here I'm grabbing the hand piece for the profi head. We do profi all of our patient's teeth before we get the braces on. So I'm just quickly grabbing this. So here is our setup. We have everything that we need to start putting braces on our patient. Of course, back there, that's the iTero machine that we did first before the braces. Now this is everything that I will need to get started. So of course we have a bib here for the patient. Up here we have all of the braces. Here we have the cheek retractors along with the NOLA that keeps the patient dry. Here we have the Profi paste, and also the purple thing is the Profi head, which is used to clean the patient's teeth, along with this hand piece that attaches to the Profi head. Next, here we have etch, which is also known as conditioner. With the etch, we will use a small micro brush, which is this pink brush here to apply the conditioner on the patient's teeth after we clean the teeth with the Profi paste. Here we have sealant known as Assure. We will also get that applied with the second micro brush here, which is the little pink brush. 
So here we have the bracket holders, which are used to pick up the brace. All of those are bracket holders. Of course, we have a carver. It's used to align the brace. Here we have the glue that we use for the braces. And of course, you have your mouth mirror there. And then this is the little dipstick that we use to put the conditioner inside. And then on the other side, it flips over and we use this end to put the sealant inside. We also have cotton gauzes here. A small toothpick to help roll on the glue behind the brace. Also back here, this is the light that we use to harden the glue. And of course, we will definitely need this. So I'm going to just add this to the tray. We also will need safety glasses here for our patient. So I'm going to add that. And yeah, there you have it. Everything that we need for our bonding appointments. So now I will show you guys our setup for our adjustment appointments. Here we keep all of our adjustment trays. So I will just grab one of these and take it to a station. Here is everything that we need. So being that our trays are pre-made, there's not much we have to prepare for when having adjustment appointments. Everything we need is here on this tray. We do keep our wires back here. And as you can see, we have the upper and the lower wires. Also at every station, we have everything we need. Like for example, here's our colors, chains. We also keep additional bonding supplies just in case you need to rebond a brace along with our suction tips along with rubber bands also known as elastics and also we keep extra bibs here in this bottom drawer so when we have patients that come in for an invisalign bonding which is the non-traditional way you know invisalign with the clear aligners we'll first get a scan like we did before with the itero machine here once we take the scan and Invisalign has received that, usually in about a couple of weeks, we will receive the patient's trays. And once that comes in, I will just set up for that. So here I'm going to grab the patient's aligners. So now that we have the patient's aligners, I'm going to take out everything that I will need to complete this bonding. So for our Invisalign bondings, we somewhat use the same things for traditional bondings with the traditional braces. So here's my setup. I'll use a little blue dipstick for this etch and my Assure. I have a mouth mirror here that I'll be using, of course, just to make sure I'm seeing everything and these two micro brushes to apply the Assure and the sealant. Here, this is the glue that we use. Here, this is the light that we use to harden the glue. I do need cheek retractors for this setup, which I did forget to bring out, but this is everything that I will use for my Invisaligns. So for our debond appointments, which are appointments where we take braces off, I will definitely need one of our debond trays, which we keep here in this drawer. So here's our setup for our debonds. Here we have a funnel that we attach to the suction and we have the patient hold it to catch any dust or materials that come about. Here's the handpiece that we use along with the burrs. 
and we use the handpiece piece timbers to remove the glue. Also, you'll see that we have here the plier that we use to remove the braces, our D-bond plier, and also we have a scaler there. We also have the same cheek retractors in the mouth mirror and the big mirror used to take pictures. Here we have this little trash bag that we use to cover this keyboard behind me so it doesn't get dusty when removing the braces. Also, you'll notice we take pictures because we want before and after photos for our patient and for our records. Also, once we get the braces off, you'll see that I have this set up back here for impressions. So once we get the braces, braces off, we do take impressions upper and lower so we can make retainers for our patients. We do make all of our retainers here in our office, which are the clear retainers, unless it's a holly retainer. We do send those to the lab. So here I have the trays along with the mixing bowl, and we have a little bottle here that I use for water. Once we get that completed, I will bring the patient here in the x-ray room to take one final x-ray for final records. Once that's completed, I will upload the pictures and the x-rays to this desktop and get a printout for final pictures. For our retainer appointments, I will grab one of these retainer trays and take it to one of our stations. So here's our setup for retainer appointments. As you can see, we only have two pliers in the mouth mirror that we will use for checking retainers. We do in fact use this for holly retainers. But if you come in for a retainer check and you have a clear retainer, we will only need a mouth mirror. So here you see me just setting up for a basic retainer appointment for a person who has clear retainers. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I genuinely appreciate all of the support. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.